Hello again, everybody. Welcome to GearWire.com. We're going to be taking a look at a classic Windows audio application by the name of Koan Pro from a mysterious long-gone company called Sayo, S-S-E-Y-O. Koan Pro has been with us since about the late 90s. It is a Windows 32 application that is uh, a very special tool for the creation of ambient and generative music. Now generative music is a type of music that is being played not according to 100% uh, deterministic rules. In other words, a piece of generative music is different every time you play it, even if it is the same piece of music. It generates decisions about how it's going to be playing itself as it plays. And Koan Pro's purpose has been to use the computer as a um, collaborator in the piece, if you will, uh, in conjunction with uh, your own work in determining the piece. And we've got a tutorial piece loaded up here. Uh, and let's check out what a generative piece of music actually sounds like. going to listen to uh, all of the piece. We'll notice a few things about Quan Pro. Here is the timeline for the uh, piece itself. As you can see, we're incrementing in time here uh, uh, along this uh, line. We have volume envelopes that each map to specific um, whoops, that each map to specific uh, tracks, let's call them, uh, although in Quan Pro's uh, terminology these are called voices. And each voice has a volume envelope. <clears throat> and each voice has an incredible number of parameters to adjust. Um, this is just one view of these parameters. We have other views that we can expose. First of all, we can uh, expand the window, but we can also get different views and find all kinds of parameters, far, far too many uh, than uh, we can cover successfully in a series of 10 videos on, uh, on Koan Pro. But uh, what we will do uh, today is get at the heart of what uh, we're hearing and why we're hearing it and also how to change things. One of the important things to remember about generative music is that the same patch, the same piece, actually comes out differently each time you play it. Um, so let's hit play again. We'll for fast forward it a little bit and listen specifically to the uh, guitar uh, lead, uh, which we heard before as a sort of a uh, the actual sound, the source of the uh, guitar patch is uh, just uh, the uh, built-in uh, sound font that's in the uh, sound card that I'm using right now. So that's why it's, I'm not having it trigger anything particularly nice. So that's why we're hearing what we're hearing. But let's go ahead and hit play and we'll hit fast forward after we hit play and you'll see the, uh, you'll see the time increment uh, 